First, I want to welcome everyone to Mercy's new consolidated space. We've taken everything from four buildings and clinics and put it here in one. Um, when I started with Mercy back in the early 90s, um, I was in a basement, like literally no windows, anything, and I sat beside a mirror and it was really scary to look at yourself all the time. <laughs> so we've really grown up. Um, we did a safety assessment uh, about two years ago and determined that it would be best to serve all of our clients and patients in one secure location with um, security on site and all the staff in the same place. So fast forward two years and um, we are thrilled to have found the space here on the MUSC campus in one of the medical park buildings that's managed by Lillibridge. Um, we have partners here. I think there's someone from Kirk Construction. They did the upfit. Um, folks from Seed Architecture, they did the design. They're waving in the back. <laughs> um, and so we, for the first time, have something that was really designed for all of our services. So we're just thrilled that you came out to see it and everybody's excited to take you on tours and show you around. So thank you for joining us. I'm going to introduce my friend, Mayor Rickenman, and let him say a few words. And then I think he and his team have put together a nice ribbon cutting and we'll bring our board members up and get that done. Yeah. Well. Thanks everybody for being here. As you know, Julianne runs the show. You know, we had a whole different program that we were going to do, but she just changed it all, which is what she does best. Now, uh, you know, it, it's very interesting though when you sit and, and I'm listening to her because this is something you've been talking about for a long time. This didn't just happen because of that safety assessment need. You really have been talking about centralizing service and, and why it's important for the mission in the long term for the liability, for the longevity of, of Mercy. Um, we could not have the community we have without Mercy and, and having folks like you do what you do. It's such an integral part. That's, Columbia for me is, is a place that I, I, it's, it's my home now and I realize how important each and every person is but also the services that we have and why we're such a unique commit community. We just never told anybody for a long time. Now we're starting to tell people and they realize that if you want a place to live that where people are compassionate and caring and you want a quality of life, it's here. But then we also have folks who need extra help. And they, need, they need services. And so we need to make sure that we're investing and supporting groups like Mercy and I, I'm glad that you got your dream because I know you've been talking about it a long time but also want you to know how grateful all 144,237 residents are that you do what you do every day and you really do do it every day you're never off <laughs> one day we're going to send you on vacation and make you leave your cell phone in the drawer and really enjoy it but I, I do know Julianna appreciates everybody being here and taking part and celebrating this because I do think this is going to advance their your mission. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to cover the needs for a thing and I think you're going to end up moving into wider and more spaces. Uh, I think this is just the beginning here but you got a place to grow and you got a place that's centralized and having that centralized where everybody can be together uh, really is going to help and I'm excited for you. We're going to cut a ribbon, so we need all the board members up here. We need the staff up here to join us as we cut this ribbon and officially open this uh, new centralized office.